get the wine in. It looks like it's dripping all down the side, they'll get the wine in as well. It's not very good, it's not very interesting though, is it? But wait till my meal comes and I'll vlog my meal. Oh, and then there's a different type of wine over there. <laughs> right, I'm not I'm not expecting great things for this pasta, but I at least like the plate. It's a nice plate. Oh, is it recording? Hi guys. Okay, so I literally vlogged the tiniest amount I possibly could while I was in the restaurant. Just because it's kind of awkward to vlog with non-YouTubers. I wish that vlogging was sort of more common than what it is. Like, I don't know anyone else actually in person that vlogs. I only know people that I've met online that do it. Um, my makeup is such a mess. Oh, Yeah, people who don't know I'm allergic to my cats. I didn't know that till after I got them. So yeah, my eyes water a lot. I have my cute little rock star dress on. Yeah, I'm just walking home. I got the bus. You know I normally walk, but at this time, in this darkness, I thought, you know what? The £2.20 is worth the safety. <laughs> I'm really scared of the dark. But it's okay. I have to be aware. I want to vlog, but I want to be sort of aware of what's going on around me. Okay, so I went to is it the Glass House? I think it's called the Glass House with my friends Rob and Joanne, who I've been friends with since high school. Well, I've been friends with Joanne since primary school. Met Rob in high school, and while we've been at uni, we've not really seen Rob that much. And in the last few weeks, we've seen him quite a little bit. Spoke to him a little bit. He's awesome, so I'm really hoping me and him are going to, well all of us, I'm really hoping all of us are going to be good friends. Joanne's one of my best friends, she's been in my vlogs before. Yeah, so there's a car! Ah! Um, yeah, at the restaurant, I like took me ages to decide what I wanted to eat because I find it really hard to do, like, I literally think I'm used to my mum. I know this is awful at 22, I think I'm used to my mum telling me, oh you'll probably like this. Or having boyfriends that are usually like, oh this looks like you'd like this or, you know, so I really struggle. But Joanne helped me a little bit, Joanne's good at helping. <laughs> like, I think she knew that was the kind of thing I'd struggle with. Oh god, this path is really fucking scary, man. Mama, she told me to worry about these Got a scary bridge to go underneath. Yeah, so I decided on this salad. But then I was like, oh, it doesn't look like that. It was literally just like seeds. Seeds and leaves and there wasn't much to it. So I was like, oh, can I have a bit of pasta with it? So for two, they were like, yeah, for two pounds we'll have pasta. I was like, oh, that sounds amazing. Then they come back. Oh, we don't have any of that pasta left, any of that salad left. So then I had to have this other pasta. To be honest, the pasta was nice. Like it cost six pounds, which I think is kind of like the average price you'd pay. And it did come through with a hot chocolate. So I was pretty happy in the end. It is hard to find a nice place to go in St. Helens. We wanted to just find a nice little cafe. Like there's a cafe called Toast that we really like. But that's closed at four and it's like, it was seven o'clock. It's half nine now, so it was definitely closed. Um, I watched Faking It. I've been watching Faking It, which is a new show on MTV about two friends that pretend to be lesbians to gain popularity and then one of them discovers that she might actually be a lesbian. I really like it. I've only seen three episodes, but yeah, I really like it. Um, I watched the second episode of Apprentice. I've never really, like I have watched some Apprentices, but not like all the way through, just a few episodes and stuff here and there. I've watched the two episodes of this one and I really like it. I just think Alan Sugar is so funny. Um, Bates Motel's recorded. Bates Motel is one of my favourite shows. Beast Motel, Pretty Little Liars. Um, yeah, <laughs> Beats Motel is awesome. Beats Motel is about, um, it's a program about, about the murderer in American Psycho. It's about him as a teenager and how sort of someone develops into a murderer. It's really cool. I love the character as well, Norman. Norman Beats is the murderer. 
he so far I think he's only murdered one person intentionally so far like he murdered someone by accident yeah okay I don't really have much else to say oh yesterday I went to an art gallery with my granddad because he'd put my late Nana's work into it and I recorded some stuff from there sorry that was <laughs> oh yeah tomorrow oh yeah this is something I need to tell you tomorrow is in the video I'm uploading tonight I tell you about an elf audition so in vlogoween day 7 I tell you that I got an audition to play an elf Christmas time in children's Oh, it's really dark, you can't see me. There you go. I've got an audition to tomorrow to play an elf in like at children's Christmas parties and Christmas fairs, which I would really love and be really good at. But it's in Southport, which would take two hours on the train to get to. And plus I have a job, like I have a job. So I don't know if I'm gonna go. Like if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to go home now and try and figure out, like figure out sort of train times figure out money because I was talking to Bo again last night about going back to Canada in November which is a month he wants me to go in a month but I need to pay for the tickets now oh hello you okay? yeah I was just filming myself so I got embarrassed oh. that someone could see me <laughs> hello come on um yeah so I'm going back to Canada it's for £500, but I'd have to pay, obviously. Like, the sooner I pay, the cheaper it's going to be. And I get paid next week. And I think next weekend I would have about enough. But I don't know. Like, I've never been a person that's been restricted by money. I don't know. i got to think about it. But I know if I didn't go, I'd regret it. Right, I'm gonna go get in my house. Look, look at this. So, you can't really see it because like, they're all blurry. <laughs> Let's try the camera. Oh, wow, whoa. Okay, can you see those traffic cones? My sister couldn't get out of our road because apparently our road is like, oh, you can't see it. Can you see? Oh, I think it's because flash is on. Can you? You might be able to see a little bit. Down there the road's blocked and like all of this road is covered in pa in traffic cones because the road's been blocked. But how are we supposed to get out of our street when the bottom is blocked? 